Hi, everybody, and welcome to this time of devotion and prayer. Uh, for our time together today, I want to share a resource with you. So rather than this really being a time of devotion and prayer, um, this is going to be a time for me to share something with you that might help some of you in your times of devotion and prayer at home. This will be particularly great uh, for families with kids at home or maybe for grandparents who want to share a resource with their grandkids or things along those lines. Um, maybe a fun aunt or uncle. <laughs> um, so this is kind of like a, a book review, I guess. So I'll just show you this. This is a little book, and I learned about this from our cross-generational director, Andrew, um, who's full of great resources. But this is a book called Prayers for Faithful Families by Tracy Smith. And this is a book that has just some really wonderful prayers for all kinds of different occasions um, in a family's life or in a person's life. Um, they're prayers that are very kid friendly. So um, for example, there are not a ton of metaphors because um, some of the younger kids just aren't able to understand those yet with where they are in their um, kind of development. But anyway, they're, they're really wonderful and you can, you know, there's a really big table of contents with prayers for all kinds of different occasions. So today I thought I would just share with you a handful of the prayers that jumped out at me as being really nice um, to kind of, you know, show you a little bit of this resource. So again, it's prayers for faithful families. So here is a birthday blessing. When you were a tiny baby, we imagined you getting older and now you are, however old, eight maybe? Year after year, we remind you God loves you and we do too. Many things change, but one thing stays the same. We love you, you are loved, you are God's child. May this year be full of blessings. May you grow in body and mind. May you be happy and healthy this year. Happy birthday, child of God, happy birthday. So a lot of them are right along those lines. Simple, but really lovely. Um, let's see, here's one for welcoming a new pet. God, you made all the animals on earth. Some crawl, some slither, some fly. Some have fur, some have scales, some have feathers. Today we give thanks for our new pet. May our pet be a blessing to our family and a new friend to love. Help us to treat our pet with love and respect May we care for our pet and show our love every day. There are prayers for all kinds of occasions, um, including prayers for difficult times. Let's see, one that I thought was really lovely was a prayer for when someone has died. When someone dies, we know we will miss them. We feel a lot of things all at once, sad, confused, angry. Sometimes we don't know what to think or feel. Help us each day as our feelings are changing. Help us to remember happy memories of this person. Let us be at peace. I think that prayer is so nice. And there are, you know, the prayers for the difficult times in here it might be times when um, as a parent or loved one, you aren't sure what to say to your child or you aren't sure what to pray with your child. Um, and this can be um, a helpful tool in those moments or a good starting place. Um, I even liked this one. This is a prayer for after a traumatic news event. And we've certainly had a lot of those in the last year or so. It says, God, when sad things happen, you are sad too. You understand. Thank you, God, for always hearing us. Help us to be kind and peaceful always. We light a candle to remind us of your love for all. So again, these are just really brief, really lovely prayers for holidays, for times that are hard, for times that are joyful, for times of transition. So I commend this resource to you. Finally, in the back of the book, um, there are some ideas for creative prayers, lots of different kinds. Um, and one that I particularly liked uh, was the bubble prayer. So you blow bubbles and as you watch the bubbles, you pray and sort of send them out to God. Um, so a great resource, prayers for faithful families. Um, whether or not you pick up this resource or that is especially helpful to you, I hope all of you are encouraged that 
you know, our prayer life doesn't have to be anything um, fancy. We don't have to use beautiful um, language like we hear in the hymnal or in our liturgy, although of course we can do that too. Um, but that sometimes these short, simple, heartfelt prayers um, are very powerful too. So I hope you all are doing really well this week. Hope you're hanging in there and um, blessings. Bye.